custodial how-tos. Please remember to always use PPE when necessary. How to clean bathrooms. These are the supplies that you'll be using. Crew cleaning cleaner, crew toilet cleaner, Emerald, Glance, Alpha HP, and Virex. Start by gathering all your supplies into your caddy or your cart. Assess the level of cleanliness in your area. Pick up any large pieces of debris off the floor. Using a broom or duster, sweep around the edges of the ceiling to collect any cobwebs. Begin sweeping the floor, starting in the farthest corner and working your way out towards the door. Make sure you sweep in the corners, around fixtures such as toilets, and behind doors. To clean sinks, use a small amount of cream cleaner and scrub with the green or white scrubbing pad. Be sure to also scrub any metal components, including faucets and drains. Use a pumice stone to scrub mineral buildup and stains. Once you have finished scrubbing, use a dry clean cloth or paper towels to wipe up the cream cleaner. Next, spray down all frequently touched surfaces with disinfectant, including door handles, stall doors, sinks, and light switches. For maximum effectiveness, let the disinfectant sit for at least 10 minutes. If necessary, return and wipe down any previously sprayed surfaces with a clean, dry cloth or paper towels. Next, spray down toilets with disinfectant, being sure to spray the seat, underneath the seat, around the rim of the toilet, and the base. Apply toilet bowl cleaner around the inside rim of the toilet. Then, take a toilet brush and scrub thoroughly, paying extra attention to the inside rim. Once you have finished scrubbing, return and wipe down the toilets with a clean dry cloth or paper towels. For urinals, follow a similar procedure, but first start by removing the plastic mat and spraying it with disinfectant. Place it on the floor while you clean. Apply toilet bowl cleaner to the inside rim. Scrub thoroughly with the toilet brush. Make sure to also scrub the drain thoroughly. Then place the plastic mat back into the urinal. Next, refill dispensers. To refill soap dispensers, press the button on the bottom and remove the old cartridge. To put the new cartridge in, simply follow the instructions on the dispenser. For toilet seat covers, move the tabs on the bottom, remove the old insert, and then simply slide the new insert in. Then move the tabs back into position. Use a key to open toilet paper dispensers. Dispensers vary by building, so talk to your supervisor about the specific kind in your area and how to refill them. Use a key to open paper towel dispensers. To replace a roll, simply follow the instructions on the inside of the dispenser. Spray down mirrors and windows with glass cleaner. Then wipe dry with paper towels or a clean, dry microfiber cloth. Make sure that when you are finished, there are no streaks or smudges left behind. Next, empty trash cans. It is often helpful to leave a roll of trash bags in the bottom of the trash can. Be sure to empty trash cans every day. In women's bathrooms, also be sure to empty and replace sanitary disposal containers. Next, prepare to mop the floor. Attach the hose to the sink. Then attach the ready to dispense container onto the hose. Make sure that the dispenser is switched to the bucket setting. Place the dispenser onto the mop bucket and fill it about halfway with disinfectant solution. Attach the mop pad to the head of the mop. Mop the floor beginning in the farthest back corner and making your way towards the door. Be sure to mop in the corners, around fixtures such as toilets, the walls behind toilets and urinals, and behind doors. 
Be sure to place a wet floor sign when you have finished mopping the floor. Weekly cleaning tasks should include scrubbing mineral lines in toilets, dusting all vertical surfaces, spraying and wiping down the trash can and the area around it, spraying disinfectant and wiping down the inside of stalls, and scrubbing toilets with the more heavy-duty toilet cleaner. Lastly, reassess your area to make sure that everything was clean to satisfaction. How to clean showers. These are the supplies that you'll be using. Start by folding the curtain out of the way. Next, attach the hose to the sink. Then, spray down the shower with water. Attach the foam sprayer onto the hose and make sure it is on the correct setting. Spray down the shower with the shower and tile cleaner, going in a zigzag pattern from bottom to top. Attach the doodle bug scrubbing pad onto the pole. Scrub the shower thoroughly. Rinse off all the cleaner with water. Mop the shower with a disinfectant cleaning solution. Be sure to mop the floors, walls, and ceiling. How to clean drinking fountains. Begin by using a small amount of cream cleaner and a green or white scrubbing pad. Scrub thoroughly, being sure to get the mouthpiece, underneath the base of the water bottle filler, around the drain, and all the plastic components. To get in the hard to reach areas, use a tile and grout brush. Next, wipe off all of the cream cleaner with a clean dry cloth or paper towels. Be sure to rinse any chemicals off the mouthpiece. Also be sure to wipe underneath the base of water bottle fillers. Next, spray down the entire drinking fountain with disinfectant cleaner, allowing it to sit for at least 10 minutes. Wipe down the drinking fountain once again with a clean dry cloth or paper towels. How to clean hallways. Start by picking up any large pieces of debris off the floor. Sweep the hallway using a dust mop. Once you have finished sweeping with the dust mop, shake it off and sweep up all of the loose dirt. Next, using a disinfectant mop, mop the baseboards and edges of the hallway. Then, mop the rest of the floor in a zigzag pattern. Once you have finished mopping, place a wet floor sign. How to clean classrooms. These are some of the supplies that you will be using. Chalkboard and whiteboard cleaner, Virex, Alpha HP, and Glance. Start by gathering all of your supplies into your cart or your caddy. Assess the level of cleanliness in your area. Pick up any large pieces of debris off the floor. Wipe up dust from all horizontal surfaces. This includes window sills, the tops of clocks, the tops of chairs, and the tops of computers. Next, wipe down chalk trays. Check and throw away any dried out markers. 
Spray down any whiteboards or chalkboards with whiteboard and chalkboard cleaner. Then wipe down with a clean dry cloth or paper towels. Next, spray down all frequently touched surfaces with disinfectant. This includes desks, door handles, and light switches. For electronics, spray disinfectant directly onto a clean dry cloth or paper towels. If necessary, go back and wipe down any previously sprayed surfaces with a clean dry cloth or paper towels. Spray down windows with glass cleaner. Then wipe down with paper towels or a clean dry microfiber cloth. Be sure that when you are finished there are no smudge marks or streaks left behind. Next, sweep the floor, starting in the farthest back corner and working your way out towards the door. Then mop the floor with a disinfectant mop, starting in the farthest back corner and working your way towards the door. Lastly, place a wet floor sign on the ground. For classrooms with carpets, be sure to vacuum. Make sure to vacuum underneath furniture and along edges and corners.